Hello friends, we're nearly there to full time perilous moon grinding. Moons will give us the final major gear pieces to start TOA. After escaping barrels, it is time to upgrade the house and get our next big gear upgrades at DK's, 4 moons, the B ring, and on the side, the dragon axe. I will be working on 75 crafting first to unlock the tier 2 jewelry box for more tellies, the glory, and the ability to make the divine room pouch for upcoming TOA. After, I will be prepping the DKs and it will involve a very cool new magic weapon. So stay tuned for the second half. Make sure to like the video if you enjoyed it. For the 75 crafting grind, I will be using the giant seaweed and sandstone mining strategy with super glass make. I got it. Let's get started. What I struggle with the most this quest, just getting the, the talismans. <laughs> Okay, this is the quest done, I believe, boys. Beautiful. Lunar Diplomacy done. Hell freaking yes. Oh, I got it. <laughs> that was crazy, man. That was like a one and done, basically. Oh my goodness, this got hit so hard. Jesus. Oh, you can't really go under it either. That's annoying. Oh, yeah, this guy. Okay, we got him. Jesus, man. Inadequacy actually slaps, even through Torax. It's actually insane. Okay, well, this guy, the rest should be a lot easier. So I'll, I'll even flinch, you know, just to be safe. There we go. All right. That wasn't too bad, but it got a little close, man. But apparently you can just keep going back in. All right, tree mentor done in record time, boys. We're gonna switch this over to Luna Isle. Since we're gonna definitely need to switch the spell book often from now on for various things. It's time to use death storage for the first time because we're just gonna be doing a lot of skilling from the mining to the crafting. So I wanna free up a lot of extra inventory space. Just to double check what we're going to lose. We're going to lose the Lunar Stab, but that's okay. We're going to get the Drama Stab back as soon as we die. So the nice part about this we'll show you is that we can take stuff out from here. And it just holds it permanently. Alright. Make our way back to the Farming Guild and grab some essentials that we need. There you go. Got our Drama Stab back. Unfortunately, the Lunar Stab is not that great. Because if you die, it disappears. And it costs 60k to get back, so that's definitely too pricey. Yes. There we go. So now we can take out our coins and uh, our rune pouch. Just so we can teleport around a little bit more conveniently. I guess if you have rune light, you should say that you have active death bank. Also has a little text message here that says, You have item stored in an item retrieval service. Please visit Arn in the farming guild. If you die again before retrieving them, they'll be lost, so... Yo, I didn't even realize there was a freaking card system in the farming guild. That's actually insane. So we can teleport with the uh, minigame telly to Thai farm and take the cart. For the 75 crafting grind, I will be using the giant seaweed and sandstone mining strategy with super glass make. This will be my first time using this strategy. This method works super well on an ultimate ironman. I've already saved up thousands of giant seaweeds months ago when I got some seeds from Ammonite Crab AFK. And all we gotta do now is get eight to 9,000 buckets of sand. Luckily, the sandstone binding gives you noted buckets of sand, so it works out perfectly. So I am heading over to the quarry now, and I will be using some tick manipulating strategy to speed up the mining. Very straightforward process. You just have to mine sandstone, and then you give the sandstone to the NPC next to the sandstone grinder, and he will charge you 50 GP per bucket of sand. The bigger sandstone pieces give you more buckets of sand. Is there a way to check? Oh, there is. Sick. Okay, we can check. Oh, dang. That's crazy. Nice. We're getting like 50 buckets of sand in inventory. So this should go by pretty quick. Speaking of money, I wonder how much I have spent on rebuying items from shops like this room pick for sand mining on the ultimate. This reminds me of the times that I spent money on subscription plans I was supposed to cancel, but regrettably forgot. If keeping track of your subscriptions and overall finance is something you care about, our sponsor Rocket Money is here to help. Rocket Money is the personal finance app that helps you cancel subscriptions, lower bills, 
and manage your money better. I recently downloaded Rocket Money myself and the benefits have been immediate. Currently, I'm using Rocket Money to keep track of my subscriptions and spending. All my subscriptions are in a need tab and I can cancel them through the app safely with a few taps. I feel confident that I'm no longer wasting money and I'm starting to save for my next vacation. Rocket Money has helped save these members up to $740 a year when they use all the features with over 500 million in canceled subscriptions. Join over 5 million members using Rocket Money today by going to rocketmoney.com slash ricecope or click the link in the description to get started for free. You can also unlock even more features with premium. That's rocketmoney.com slash ricecup to get started for free. Thanks for listening. There we go. Now we can be a bit smoother with this. Dang, that's, this is so fast. It's like perfect rhythm. 15 minutes and I've already gone a thousand buckets of sand with the tick manipulating strat. And this is like my first time trying this out. So yeah, that's really good. We're getting almost 60k an hour uh, tick manipulating, of course. But yeah, this is awesome. We're going to get a mining level soon. Definitely can be fun, I guess. <laughs> hey, nice. We got 83 mining. And guess what, man? My rates are actually going up. It's actually crazy. We're actually over 60k an hour. Yeah, it took us about two hours. All right, let's go ahead and claim some sand. I think for now, we're just going to do 5,000. So that way... If it's a lot left over, I can still keep it on this guy, right? Because I wouldn't want to waste it. So let's just take out 5,000 for now. All right. We begin our road to 75 crafting. It is going to be very chill. All right, boys. We just hit 62 crafting already. Let's go. 13 more levels to go. We got ourselves a decent setup right now. There's a guy here that we can sell our stuff. So we're just going to sell this. There you go. Nice, there we go. That that will save us around to click a bunch. We got another level, 60 crafting, sweet. But still getting about a bit over 70k an hour. Alright, we just got 64 crafting. Let's go. Yo, 66 crafting. Oh, air bow staffs. That's neat. Hell yeah, dude. Unlocking so many uh cool things along the way. So we went from 470k to 490k. So I'm actually getting a little bit of money back. Lol. All right, guys, another crafting level. It's coming in quick. Oh, we got Onyx Ring. Yo, we just got 60 crafting. Hell yeah, let's go. Also can make blue dehyde traps. Oh, nice. It's got 69. I found a little bit more efficient way to do this. So I basically just do two inventories before I pick up anything on the ground. The only problem is that you have to be quick. Otherwise, they start despawning make this just a little bit less annoying all right boys 70 crafting and that's pretty sick some crystal armor stuff we'll need that in the future but yeah that's gonna be the last level for today still need a lot more experience uh, i think like 500k more pretty good at this method now and uh it's looking to be about 80 000 xp an hour all right we just hit 71 crafting four more to go it's a new day we still have 4,500 buckets of sand that Drew has for me, but I think we only need about 4,000. Also gotta buy a few more astral runes. Uh, I forgot it was two astrals per spell, so I think I bought like 600. Basically you need yeah, another like probably 500, so about 1,000 plus to go from 60 to 75. Oh my goodness, man. This guy's dropping goddamn sea turtles. They were dropping sea turtles and I couldn't pick up my stuff. All right, 72 crafting. Man, it's already been an hour. Oh God, this one's like, it's, eh, it's yeah, just another hour every level basically. All right, here we go. Nice, nice, nice. 73 crafting, two more to go. I am just full sending it right now, like paying attention. And we are actually achieving a stable 87,000 experience. So that's actually insane for having to do all this weird stuff like dropping and picking stuff up. Yo, 74 crafting. Oh, nice. We can uh, make some of the crystal armor stuff. So that's definitely a bonus. We're definitely making that stuff in the future. And finally, we are at the last level. 113,000 and change. I can already make the dragonstone necklace. The dragonstone bracelets are ready. I forgot to mention we already unlocked all these in advance. 
39. Yes, we have enough. Hell yeah, there it is. 75 crafting. Even though... Okay, it mentions some cool stuff. Ooh, magic bird houses. That's kind of nice. The vine room pouch, that's a big one. We definitely want that extra slot one day. And it's coming up. Slayer rings, that's a pretty decent one as well. But yeah, mainly though, it's for the glory boost. Right here, baby. That's crazy. We finished the grind and I still have... 5,500 CU wheat, so I only used about 1,500. I think this actually can get me all the way to 85. So in the future, I guess we'll do some more of this method. Use up the giant sea wheat as well. I have to be extra careful making this druid boss because dragon stone is very, very limited. All right, so we have five dragon stones and exactly we need five necklaces. So there we go, there we go. Perfect. Yes, here we go. We're going to save these three, I guess, for some other stuff. Stack them up in the future. But yeah, this is for the two glories. We're going to make one glory for my house. And we're going to make one glory for a stash unit that I can make already. And I can store it. There we go. We charge the stuff. Okay. All right. We're going to have to stew boost. But it's only a plus three that we need. Okay. After... An insane amount of preparation. We are finally ready to make this jewelry box with the tea and the crystal saw. We should be able to do this. There we go. Oh my goodness. It took like five tries behind the scenes, but yes, we did it. Oh, this is awesome, man. Look at this. Beautiful. Tier two is probably one of the most important. Tier three, not so much because we're going to make the glory in our house anyways in a separate room massive this one's absolutely massive i'm gonna use this one the most 10 new teleports so nine extra teleports that i will use for various things 80 i got it yes let's go let's go let's go we did it quick before stats go away yes there we go and glory oh look at that so nice this is the most useful application of the glory for me here just the fact that I have infinite teleports to these four spots. Now I'm going to have to get used to all these like teleports, man. Because we just unlocked like 14 teleports. There we go. Nice. We have a storable glory that we could take out if we're really trying to use it for something. But yeah, for now, it's just nice to have it as a backup. All right. Now we can officially prep for Dagonoth Kings. We have a lot to do. Before we uh, start that or go to the bosses. But yeah, fun stuff though. The prep is fun this time, not just skilling. Let's grab our stuff out from his boy now. And the beautiful part is with the jewelry box, we can go straight to the farming guild. Absolutely awesome. So yeah, we can take everything out of the his boy pretty much now. Put everything back in the looting bag. Stuff is completely taken out. So that means we can actually die and it's fine. I was going to put this extra lava battle stuff in a stash unit. Oh, I got it. One try. Let's go. Oh, thank God. Not punished. We need to make a mind shield. Yes, we got it. Okay. There we go. Now we just teleport a Trollheim. Yes. Make this stash unit like so. And store it. Voila. Really nice. Uh, This one in particular is pretty good. Because like, imagine I go AFK in Wyverns or something. Or I need to do like a fossil island wyvern task i can just grab this out for real now it's time to prepare for some dks first things first get the slayer task you never know when you disconnect oh shit i can hit 50 i should finish the rack medium diary i forgot about that i need to get a task from Veneca. there we go 20 mahogany right check all right we do this yay task done let's go Medium Dyers is pretty nice because then uh, if we do more sands in the future, we can get extra wearing this. And the best part is I can use the Grand Exchange Tele now. And that's really nice for when I got to deal with potion stuff, right? 62 Slayer. Oh, nice. I hit 74 Defense, 102 Combat. Oh, I got it already. Oh my God. Yo, let's go. And it's a big one too. 180. Nice, nice. Hell yeah. All right. So there's a few things I got to do. I got to imbue the Slayer Helmet so I can uh, get the 15% damage and accuracy on range because we're going to also kill Prime. 
to double our chances of getting a DX and also not have to wait on the Rex spawn. And also, I need to get a, a Warp Scepter. I got to do a quest though for it. But yeah, we're going to get that. And the Warp Scepter is going to be good because I can kill Rex with it and be on Ancients. Because it's a power staff, so I can use Blood Blitz. That's nice. I got the runes for it and all. So, thank you, Barrows. Let's get to it. Hey, nice. Already one level. Now we just need two more levels. There you go. One more level, guys. Loving this method. It's very chill. Hey, nice. There we go. That's all the skill wrecks for the Path of Glaffrey. Hell yeah. We can make one grapple. Nice. I usually have to kill stuff for it. Easy boost. Alright, while we have this, I'm going to do a bunch of those grapple diaries in one so we don't, you know, waste it. There you go. I'm just going to fight them one at a time. Got to be a bit smart about this. There we go. Wow. Oh, wait. These are XP lands. Now it's time to kill some tortoises. Also, I got a Slayer level. Cool. Oh, yeah. Actually, let me finish these. The Jody shortcut. Apparently, there's a chance that my grapple could break. We have to go through like six agility shortcuts for six separate diary tasks. Man, Jagus needs to update this so that there's actually just a grapple in these shortcuts. Because they made this so like not really a good shortcut. We got to get this boost. Oh, I got it. Wow. Plus five. Let's go. But yeah, we need 70 agility for this one. Oh, I completed a elite task already. Oh, sweet. There we go. That's another one done. Can you believe it? There's like so many of these. There we go. That's another one. All right, we're finished. All the freaking grapple tasks are done. Okay, we're going to use this spot. It's pretty close to the entrance. Only like a few rooms away. Oh, we did it. 75 defense. I think I'm going to go on crush style though. They are very weak to crush, so... Oh, yes. Runekite shield. Honestly, going dry here is definitely not bad. Wait, 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 wait. Maybe I'll keep this. The rune warhammer. I think I can make blue dehyde traps already, right? Oh, I'm keeping this one. Nice. That's a hard clue stash I can make. So that's the idea. I'm going to do at least one task of DKs. Hope I get the axe and then... Oh, I got it! Oh, yo, 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 yo. Yo, we got it. We got lucky. Somewhat. 200 kills uh, between the bird and the tortoise. Let's go. Hell yeah, dude. We got the freaking... Uh, basically, best in slot mage weapon overall. Until, like, tried and, and, and better. So, let's go. Alright, turn this in. Ooh, 13k. Nice. These perfect shells are worth something, too. They're worth 500 uh, crafting XP each. We'll take that as well. All the uh, alkables that I got from Tauruses is about the value that I'm going to have to spend on my uh, Earth Runes. A bit over 200k, I have the Earth Runes. I'm going to put all this in the Warp Scepter. Just so we can save inventory space and good chance we can use it all. Anyways, use it all up. So now we have 13,000 shots complimentary of the Barrow's Grind. Not the best magic accuracy, but it's okay. It's basically Trident. It's charged staff like Trident, so I can be on like other spell books. Same speed. The other thing is it's three less maxes than a Trident. So it's practically like the rune scheme to the D scheme kind of deal. Basically my best in slot for now. Make some more stash units. There we go. Alright, sweet. I got the fishing level wreck for this. Easy game. Alright. There's the list. There's this one. I've been meaning to make that one. And we are done. But alas, we are out of time. We will wrap up the DK's prep tomorrow. Gonna imbue the Slayer Helm. Alright, time to imbue the Slayer Helm. Let's deposit some money. My imbue method of choice will be the good old Nightmare Zone. The reason for that is quite a few. You get some combat experience, which I do need more of. And it's also very consistent time-wise. It should take about 2 hours to get enough points to imbue the Black Mass and the B-Wing. My strategy is mainly using the custom Rumble hard mode and selecting Desert Treasure bosses, Dream Enter bosses, and everything else. But taking away all the like really annoying ones like Alvark, And using Overloads and Absorption Potions. 
The first round that I gotta do is gonna suck because I gotta get the points to actually use the overloads and absorption, but about 10 to 20 minutes of that, we can actually do Nightmare Zone set up properly. There's also another big reason to do Nightmare Zone on the UIM, but I'll have to show you in the video later. All right, it's gonna be way easier now. A 81 magic, pretty sick. We can hit a new max hit. So we need to get rid of this guy, but everything else is good. Everything else is pretty good. Now we have the overload, so it's going to go by even faster. I was getting 600k without overloads, but it should be a lot better because then I have Warp Scepter to scale overloads too, and just better stats overall. I wonder what I can hit my Warp Scepter. It must be like really nice. A few things to point out, a lot of the harder bosses to fight in Nightmare Zone are super weak to magic like a lot of the Desert Treasure bosses. So the Warp Scepter worked amazing there, especially with overloads. The rest, I just used my Zombie Axe. It worked like a charm. Oh man, dude. This thing is so good here. Holy shit. Like, I'm just hitting these guys like non-stop. So good. Okay, actually, I think we can get like a mil points per hour now. Ooh, my max is 23 overloaded right now. I guess 30 more minutes and we'll already have the black mask done. Alright, let's go imbue the Slayer Helm right now. Alright, one more trip to get the points for the ring. Like, this guy literally does not attack you if you're next to it. <laughs> I don't know why. A 76 defense. We got that fat... Oh, two of them! Oh my god. That's insane. All right, we're done now, guys. That was pretty fun, not gonna lie. Ooh, that was kind of nasty. All right, anyways, we're gonna buy uh, one set of this. Well, we'll get some more as we need it. But yeah, let's go and finally get ready for DKs. All I gotta do is get my gear set up. I guess every time I do DKs, I'm gonna have to prep Super Antis by hopping uh, north of Castle Wars. Also buying some rune thrown axes. This is uh, our first trial setup here. Got my pet rod, my rune thrown axe. We're going like completely solo. And yeah, we got our range setup. Look at our tank here, absolutely insane. 372 range bonus. Those spine lips are barely gonna touch us, except for when we kill Prime. One adventurer. Okay, we made it, boys. We made it. <laughs> Nice, I got it. Yeehoo! We're in, boys. Oh, so nice, man. We're just destroying Rex, honestly. Trying to kill Prime without a Slayer task with an MSV is probably hell. Oh, come on. That was so slow. Definitely, Prime is a bit of a struggle. Hey, I completed a combat achievement. Nice. I guess 10 KC. Oh, wait, 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 we can pick it. Oh, no, we can't, we can't pick it. Oh, wait, wait, yes, we can pick it. Oh, no, we can't pick it. <laughs> God damn it, Supreme. There we go, I got it. Actually, what I should do is... Hey, we got another CA done. Nice, nice. I actually might just go for the Tribrit. 25 KC combat achievements, let's go. Hey, okay, that was kind of a oh, what a mud battle staff mate Come on. All right. I, I mean, I definitely got to pick it up especially because supreme is like literally running away I do already have a lava battle staff in my hidey hole. So this is like a dupe So I could just get rid of this one and then just keep this Okay, all right, this is the last dose Honestly first trip here has been pretty damn successful guys so yeah, I guess we can just keep doing this. Three anti poison super antis. We've done uh let's see, 20 Rex kills already and 13 primes. So honestly, pretty damn good with so limited inventory space. 45 kills uh trip, so that's sick. Oh, we actually got it. Hell yeah. DK's chest. Let's go. Okay. Alright, this is what we're gonna do. The perks of bringing a zombie axe. At least I can kill this guy. Ooh, nice. Okay, now we can do this. 
Yeah, we're gonna do the uh, tribrid method. So I already have Prime down like super low. So this is one of the uh, low DPS methods. So basically, I'm gonna kill Rex, and then I'm gonna like immediately kill Prime, and then I can kill Supreme. Ooh, skills to top. So then we just do this now. Oh shit, I got a warrior ring? No way, uh-uh. Wrong ring, but cool. Oh, I got the Berserker ring. No way. Oh, I didn't mean to eat that. Oh my god. Oh shit, that's awesome, man. We actually got the freaking Berserker ring. Holy shit. But we're not done yet, because uh, I do want to get myself that D-Axe, though. Now that I'm kind of maxing out my kills quite a bit with the time that I have per trip, instead of waiting for Rex only to spawn, this DX should hopefully come by pretty fast. Oh, I got it! I'm freaking done. I'm freaking done. Wow. So 70, 75 kills basically for the DX. So overall, we got lucky as heck. Let's freaking go, dude. <laughs> Also, yeah, we gotta sell this war ring. Kinda lame, but we gotta sell it, you know. The B ring is the real keeper. And the Grand Shield as well. We can get rid of that now. A boom! And uh, just to show you guys how cool this is now, look at this. If you refund, or even die, I learned that even if you die with this, you get all your points back. So this is really good, because if I, for some reason, need to store this in the Looting Mag, I actually can't. Took a few tries, but look at that. This is one of the best stashes of all time because it's only the D-Axe, so you get no extra shit. So that's perfect. Unlike some of the other stashes where you have to hold some items that aren't quite useful always, but this is really nice. It's just one for one. Now that we've finished the DKs, I really don't need the MSP anymore since Perilous Moon is all melee, and the next time I need a range, I'll already probably have sunny for fletching for the sunlight hunter crossbow our next super convenient range weapon easier to get than even msb before we send it off though and uh empty it from our life i'm gonna use up these rune arrows via some slayer and yeah then we can drop it oh a fire battle stuff guess what i'm gonna make a statue now of it but i need to get a rune full helm though I've never been here before. But these guys have a 1 in 100. Oh, wow. Rune Battle Axe, though. These guys have a 1 in 100 chance to get a Rune Full Helm. Oh, I got it. Yes. Rune Full Helm. Let's go. It is time to say goodbye. Yes. There we go. That's one stash made. For the Harkus, and that's it. Nothing else I gotta do. It's time to head over to Perilous Moon and give it a go. If you guys didn't know, I often AFK uh, like every day. So after I finish my stream where I work on my active goals, I like to sit back somewhere and do some AFK so I can watch a show or do some editing, things like that. But I've finished up my mining AFK needs, like sending prayer and stuff. So it's time to move on to something that could help me more with my account. So it's between like fishing and woodcutting and fletching so i did some fishing i did barb fishing because it's perfect for uim since you don't bank stuff anyways it was good fishing decent side agility and strength xp and i did get a few levels there but the problem is i don't actually really need to train my fishing all that much like for food i usually just buy stuff right now at word skill which is more than good enough so i figure we should probably move over to fletching and woodcutting and i'll explain why we're gonna do a fletching and woodcutting in a second after all this fishing stuff oh nice we also got a strength level while doing bar fishing as well i rarely ever do this method on any accounts but definitely uh makes sense on the ultimate when i death banked for the first time for crafting grind at his quarry i also took this opportunity to work on all the balloon system diary tasks and related quests like the monkey madness 2 this was the best time to do it because it is safe to do and i don't have to death pile multiple times for my afk time the last few days i've just been working on afk woodcutting and fletching eventually i want to get 74 fletching so i can use the sunlight crossbow our next range upgrade this will be used for bossing mostly and that includes 
the initial TOAs. We should go ahead and finish the Enlightened Journey quest and do all the uh, balloon transport related stuff. Because I have 75 woodcutting now, so... Man, I've pre-planted these willow trees for the longest time, man. Just to finally get get all this stupid Entrana related BS out of the way. Like, goddamn. Alright, I got some extra willow branches because I had a bunch of willow plants. So we're going to make this basket too. For a diary that we have to do eventually. Anyways, that should be a diary done. Cool. I have the POH storage thing plug-in going on. Basically, I can uncheck this and watch. It only shows the things I have. So that's really nice. We're going to grab this log basket out because we're going to need a lot of logs for all the different balloon transports. So this will really help us out. One of the balloon transports I got on log in the future is the Grand Tree place. The Gnome Stronghold one and that requires 60 fire making. And we need that for MM2 in the future. So we're going to get to 57 and call it a day here. Only need a plus three boost. We're not done yet. Westloper even has the other balloon transport stuff. All right, let's go to Castle Wars. There we go. Oh, we finished two tasks in a row. All right, I'm just going to wait till this number changes. All right, there we go. Here we go. I got it. Grand Tree. Nice. There we go. That's it. All the important balloon transport stuff is done. We are freaking free. Hey, nice 58 fire making. Just might as well get the 60 out of the way because uh, we're going to need it eventually. And I got an AFK. Not the most efficient XP, but holy crap. AFKing Willows into just doing the bonfire is so chill because the bonfire never runs out. Nice, 59 fire making. Alright, we got ourselves 60 fire making and perfect. We don't have to worry about Monkey Madness 2 requirement stuff. First fletching level of our AFKing, we're going to be going for uh, basically 74 fletching. So we're just going to be AFKing of uh, the next few days or even weeks. Going for the Hunter Crossbow, the Sunlight Hunter Crossbow. <laughs> Oh my god. This bot is so bad, man. Jesus, he was he was here like doing this thing constantly and now uh, it's here doing this. Alright, we got another level. Oh, only 54. Hell yeah, 55. Yes, okay, now we can FK some longbows. We're gonna get some more woodcutting levels too. Alright, I skipped a level. I think it's only going to slow down once we hit, like, uh, close to 70s. Whoa, nice. 73 farming and 4 maples. That's really nice. Oh, shit, now I just got 59 fletching. Sweet. Oh, I just got 70 woodcutting. A 60 fletching. Another level 60 skill. No, uh, there's not that many skills that aren't 60 now. Oh, wow, it's just, is it just thieving? A nice 61 fletching. Oh, nice. We can make some adamant bolts. Not sure. I think that's actually pretty useful, right? Yeah. I'm probably going to need to make some diamond bolts and stuff in the future. I love this, actually. This is a so AFK, man. All right. Got myself some mithril boots. Finally, I can do this silly step. I keep getting, like, that step for uh, the medium clues. What? Yo, I got two boaters. That's insane. Nice, 79, wood cutting. Hell yeah, 63 fletching. Hell yeah, 64 fletching. Nice, another fletching level. Oh hell yeah, diamond bolt tips. Alright, there it is, 80 wood cutting. Sweet, that's a pretty cool milestone. Medium, number one, nothing. Number two, oh, Saradum and Cloak, that's kind of cool. 